So today we are going to discuss about the greatest monk, Indian monk, Indian spiritual leader, Swami Vivekananda, you know. On 12th January, uh, we celebrated his birthday, but actually, uh, if you uh, see about the Tithi and Bengali calendar, today, 14th uh, January, this year particularly, all the organization related to Ramakrishna Mission and other, they will celebrate the birthday of Vivekananda today. So, today in our spoken batch, in the group discussion, actually, we want to recall this great spiritual Indian leader. By recalling his rare things, everybody knows about Swamiji and Swamiji is internationally reputed figure. So, if we discuss the rare thing, then we will come to know many things about this great man. So, let's start our discussion, group discussion. You start your group discussion. One by one, you share your rare thing. One by one. So, Bob, Swami Vivekananda was a very great monk. He was born on 1863 uh, on 12th January. Uh, so, I will share a rare thing about Swamiji. One, one uh, day, a Britisher was taking his dinner in a room and suddenly uh, Swamiji came there to take uh, his dinner and sat beside the Britisher. And then the Britisher told Swamiji that uh, a pig and a bird can't, be, uh, can't sit beside, uh, beside each other. So Swamiji replied that uh, when he will tell, I will uh, fly from here. If a uh, normal person uh, heard this, uh, that a pig and bird can't uh, sit beside each other, then he will become angry. But uh, Swamiji handled it uh, with a very intelligent, uh, intelligent part. Very intelligent way. way. So it is... Uh, Matter. So next person you tell. Mm, so Swami Vivekananda was a great monk. He was born on 12th January 1863. So I want to share a story about him. Uh, so uh, one day when he went to uh, Chicago religious conference, uh, he saw that uh, all the the uh, all the holy books. Uh, were there but uh, at the bottom the uh, Hindu's religious uh, holy book was in the bottom and uh, was kept uh, was uh, kept at the bottom of all book uh, all books all books uh, then uh, he said uh, with intelligence that uh, it uh, it uh, it is a good foundation and he started his speech proudly. So you continue, continue. Yeah, uh, Swami Vivekananda was a great monk and uh, he was the spiritual leader of our country. So I want to share a story about uh, this topic. Uh, one day a professor uh, told Swami Vivekananda that uh, suppose uh, here is a bag of money and here is the bag of uh, treasure, uh, here is a bag of knowledge. So uh, what uh, do you cho want to choose? So then uh, Swami Vivekananda told that I... Uh, of of course, I want the money back because uh, I want this. So, uh, to hearing the word, uh, the professor told that, yeah, I know you choose the bag of money because your intelligence is that. So, Shwami so Vivekananda tell, uh, told that, yeah, of course, uh, that person uh, choose the money because I have no money, so I choose that. You have no knowledge, so you choose the bag of knowledge. So, uh, then uh, the revenge of this uh, matter the professor uh, one day uh, sign the uh, one day the professor uh, write uh, idiot in the copy of uh, Swami Vivekananda so uh, then uh, Swami Vivekananda see that and uh, told the professor that uh, sir you uh, sign on my answer copy but uh, you okay. didn't uh, get any grade on my answer copy so in this way uh, he proved his in, uh, intelligence talent uh, so uh, we all know that Swami Vivekananda uh, 
uh, is a uh, great monk of our India. Uh, we have already uh, celebrated uh, his uh, 161st birthday. So today I am sharing a, a story about him. Uh, one day um, he was uh, studying uh, with his uh, teacher in his room. So suddenly a procession uh, passing by and um, then uh, uh, but still he uh, continued uh, his study. So um, slowly the procession had gone. So uh, he saw, uh, his uh, sad thought that uh, uh, he uh, didn't uh, memorize uh, anything uh, from the book. So uh, to taste uh, it, uh, the uh, sad asked him several question, uh, questions and uh, surprisingly uh, he answered all the questions uh, properly. Uh, so uh, the sad uh, got amazed by it. So we can learn from it that concentration is the main thing in our life. Uh, we should do everything uh, uh, in our life with concentration. So this uh, great monk uh, died on uh, 4th July 1902. 1902. 1902. Rupoma, you tell. One day, Ma Sharada was feeling like, uh, feeling like eating fruits. She ordered him to bring the, the knife. Vivekananda thought that the sharp side of the knife uh, might uh, hurt his mother. So he gave her to the wooden side of the knife for portrait her. This incident says that uh, Shamiji was caring about his mother. And his, uh, his mother also commented that Shamiji will be able to serve all the people. And he also reminded some, and Samiji asked that time, so why, uh, mother, you are telling like this? How you can judge that I can serve all? Because you just like you protect me, you, you thought about me that the sharp side of the knife may hurt me. In this way, I I have read your mind that in the near future you are going to serve the people, and. I, we know it very much that Samiji served all the people. Okay, very good. Next. Uh, okay, uh, so, uh, two days ago, it was the day when Samiji was born. And I don't have to explain that how great this guy was. And uh, the main thing about uh, Samiji is how he interact the uh, other people and uh, spread Hinduism to other way in uh, America uh, or uh, in British people is just uh, outstanding and I want to share that uh, how he get into this Hinduism, Hinduism. Uh, when uh, he was at the age of 19 uh, he get interact with uh, Sri, Ram, uh, uh, Sri Ram Krishna so uh, he asked him uh, directly a simple question that uh, if there is a God Prove him, uh, prove me his existence. Swamiji, uh, Sri Ramakrishna just simply uh, replied him that, yes, uh, th there is God and the God is me. So, the, uh, uh, so, Swamiji was so amazed. Hi, you tell, next. Okay, so I want to share about um, the level of con concentration of Swami Vivekananda. Yeah. So one day in his childhood, Swami Vivekananda was playing with his friend. Uh, the play was like meditation one by one, doing meditation one by one. So when the Vivekananda's turn came, uh, he sat there, uh, closed his eyes and started to meditate, meditate, uh, meditate uh, with full concentration. Then suddenly a snake appeared. Uh, so the so his friends uh, became scared and shouted uh, Swami Vivekananda to um, move away, uh, move away. But Swami Vivekananda didn't move a bit. Uh, and after that, after some moment, uh, the snake passed passes by, passed by. But um, uh, when uh, after after a few time, after a few time later, um, Swami Vivekananda wake up uh, from his meditation or the sam samadhi state. And then uh, his friend told him that there was some uh, dangerous, mo uh, dangerous incident uh, was uh, may, might have happened. Uh, so they told that Sam Vivekananda that we shouted, shouted you to move, uh, move, the, uh, move from there. But um, then Sam Vivekananda replied that 
uh, actually I didn't um, realize or uh, sound that your sound uh, or didn't sound your uh... okay let me tell Norendra Dotto better known as Swami Vivekananda was born on 12th January and from 1984 we celebrate we Indian all Indians celebrate his birthday at, as National Youth Day and today I will share one of his rare incident once while staying at uh, Chicago Swamiji used to go to the library daily and uh, borrow uh, a vast amount of books and used to return those books in uh, daytime and uh, for uh, by this of his behavior the uh, library keeper got very much shocked and confused that uh, one day she asked Swamiji that why do you borrow all these books and uh, if you don't want to read them then Swamiji replied that I read all of them and I have completed all the books I borrowed from here then the uh, library keeper got very much frustrated and uh, to uh, to get out of the frustration she uh, told Swamiji that I will test your uh, reading skill that if you read all the books fully or not. Then Swamiji agreed with that and uh, she uh, chose just a random book and opened any of the page and asked Swamiji what was written there. And Swamiji without taking any glance at the page uh, just by seeing the page number Swamiji to uh, totally uh, co correctly told everything what was written in the page. And to, uh, that made the uh, library keeper more curious and she also asked, uh, she, all, she uh, took many of the random books and asked various questions and Swamiji uh, answered all of the questions. Uh, we think that he has told not to read Gita, he has told to uh, play uh, only football. Uh, he doesn't, he did not mean that. Um, and he told that uh, the uh, every work is easy when you are busy. Uh, by this sentence, he uh, told us to start the work. Uh, some people think uh, after seeing a big work or a large uh, pro, uh, uh, on a large or a large project that I will I can't uh, do that. It w would not be done by me uh, in this uh, small time. But Swami Swami told us that you start the work and uh, maybe the work would, would not be done in this time. Okay, that's okay. Uh, it doesn't matter. You have started the work and you have tried to finish the, uh, that in uh, this particular time. Uh, it's it means very big and uh, um, he told um, that uh, he told to. Uh, Omid, the people who is demotivating, who is uh, taking our, uh, taking uh, us back um, in the life, uh, he told us to uh, omit the people who is standing a, 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 like a pillar between us and our success. Uh, we can be we're very prosper in our life by, by following this type of quotes told by Swami Vivekananda. Thanks, sir. So, uh, you have discussed very nicely about the great monk uh, Swami Vivekananda. So, I have nothing to add anything. So, only I, I want to tell about his concentration because in the present generation, there is lack of concentration among the students. Uh, in a fraction of a uh, second, they are, uh, their mind is going to other, uh, other place. But Vivekananda told that the concentration is the key to success. And we all are not Vivekananda. He could uh, concentrate at a time two or three things. In the, in the class he was disturbing, he was talking to uh, other, other guys. But uh, when professor or any teacher asks him, he could uh, tell everything. But nowadays it is not possible for us to do that. But if we concentrate about the study hour, then we will get good result. And regarding concentration, Vivekananda, you know, some army, pe army people were trying to hit a um, hit an excel in a ditch or in a river. It was uh, it was floating on that uh, ditch or river, and they were quarrelling that who will who could do that. And then everybody uh, proved failure about uh, about that thing, uh, failure to do, uh, proved failure to do that. 
Swamiji smile and ask them uh, that uh, if he, uh, if they gave the chance uh, to hit, the, then say they laughed at Swamiji that you are a monk and how could it be possible? Swamiji said, just uh, let me try once. Then when he was given the gun, uh, Swamiji hit uh, repeatedly. Then uh, they asked that how it was possible. Swamiji told. Uh, they uh, told Samiji, Samiji that uh, remark that you are liar, you are not ordinary monk, you are be just uh, uh, pretending us. Samiji told, no, I am not liar, what I have, uh, what have you understood, I am a simple monk, but what I am having, you are not having, you are lacking, that is concentration power. So I did it through only through my concentration power. So this is uh, one type of specimen of concentration I have given you in every, if Samiji would play cricket, then uh, Samiji would be the um, Sochin or more than that. Because of concentration, in any field you go, concentration will work like this way. Another incident, you know, in Belur Mot, uh, Samiji uh, loved uh, to take tea, the hot drinks that we, we take at the, uh, in the morning every day with the newspaper. Samiji was fond of tea. So Samiji planted, uh, uh, there was tea plantation, Samiji started at Belum Mall. So one person put a case in the Chuchura court, Chinsura court, that Samiji is a monk and he planted a tea plantation made in the Belum Mall. How is it possible? They, they, there was a case the case suit. Then Saheb came riding a horse in Belur Mot. The who, who planted this uh, tea, tea plant? Samiji came, yes, uh, sir, uh, I am here, I have planted. Why? It is the Mot and you are a monk. So, so what? I love tea. Don't you love tea? Don't you take tea? <coughs> then Saheb bowed his head and withdrew the case. In Samiji. This is Samiji. So he fought in the sound way, he fought with the intelligence and willpower everywhere he and regarding faith he told that, that there is a faith is everything. First you keep faith in yourself, then you come to the God and uh, put your faith in God and leave everything on him. And if you want to worship God, you serve the needy, you help the helpless, and you feed the hungry one. Then you will get, uh, then you, the, the God is not in the temple. The God is in ourselves, but we don't know. Don't show any hatred to any people. Always love the people. Always uh, behave politely in this way, Swamiji, regarding faith. You know, you, you, you did not mention here regarding the faith, how he proved that once he was insulted by a king that you are Hindu, in your Hindi religion, uh, they are worshipping the uh, God made of soil, made of soil. How ridiculous it is. You are worshipping the soil made uh, uh, figure and telling that it is your God or Goddess. Swamiji, you are correct, you are right. Then Swamiji, uh, was uh, not <coughs> agreeable uh, to uh, fall into any debate. Then and then uh, he ordered a man from each uh, kingdom that you speed the uh, photo there was hanging on the wall. Then the king became angry that how is it possible? It is my father. Do you know who the person? So why? How is it possible? It is the it is the just a uh, picture you are telling your father. No, it is, oh, this is faith. You are having faith that it is your father and that's why you are angry now. So, just you remember about the God, you tell that it is made of soil. But we are having faith that it is our God. So, this is faith. This is Swami Vivekananda. So, he told the young generation uh, to use your strength in good way and he inspired all the youth. We don't know Samiji and details now till say, there is so many unknown things. So today's young generation should know about that and use their and utilize their strength in the good work so that the future citizen, today's future citizens will do something good inspiring from the Samiji's work. So that's all. Thank you.